If you've been to a Diamondbacks game the past few years, you probably saw this woman high up in the stand, dancing and waving D-back flag. I've been known as everything from the crazy dancing lady to the dancing granny to Rally Sally, which is the name the Diamondbacks organization gave me. Rally Sally's real name is Cindy McBride, and the senior citizen has quite the story to tell. But it has nothing to do with supporting her favorite baseball team. I got involved in something that I should not have gotten involved in. It all started when Cindy created a Facebook account and began chatting. That's when she was immediately contacted by a charming and high-ranking military officer who claimed to be overseas in the U.S. Air Force and wanted to be Cindy's Facebook friend. What's he say his name is? Eric T. Hill. This is Eric T. Hill, a reputable and distinguished major general in the Air Force. Cindy didn't know it at the time, but a scammer was using this decorated officer's picture and name found all over the internet to trick lonely women like Cindy into sending money. More on that in a minute, but first, this devout Christian says she found herself falling in love through her online conversations with him. I would be like, he does know the scriptures because he's sending him back immediately giving me a response. Mm. And so I, that impressed you? Definitely. As a Christian, definitely. And the scammer had a real way with words, saying, Hello, honey, it's me, your love. I miss you so much, my love. Please get back to me on here if you get the message. The messages went back and forth for weeks as the two communicated, and then it happened. Then one day it was like, um, do you have an extra $500 that you could send me? And I thought, oh, yeah. But Cindy was asked to hide the money inside of a book first before sending it. So she went to her home library, grabbed a book, and very slowly and methodically used a razor to cut a hole in the pages in order to conceal the cash. She even showed three in her side how precise she was when doing it. So I would measure this like this, and then I would take a pencil, and I would mark the edges. Cindy actually took these photographs of the books that she hid the cash in, and what started out as just $500 quickly grew. In fact, look at this picture that she took on her cell phone. What is this here? That was one of the payments that I sent him. If you count, there's 10 stacks of $10,000. That's right, $100,000 in cash hid inside several books and mail. How much in cash did you wind up sending? About a hundred, um, about 160,000. 160,000 to yeah. a person you don't know. Mm -hmm. Cindy says she even took out a personal loan in order to keep her relationship going. Do you think maybe you were in love with him or for the long that direction? Well, the more he said, it was like, yeah, the love started. Cindy eventually ran out of money and realized the man she thought she was in love with, Eric T. Hill, is actually a victim as well. This is his military thing that I got. So this is supposedly him? Yes. But this is really an innocent guy whose identity is stolen. Yeah. She's not the only one duped. Three on your side found this website warning people that the same name and same photo that Cindy was sent was a fake account used by scammer criminals to romance scam and steal money. Cindy says she knew better, and now she's paying a heavy financial price. And I've asked the Father forgiveness, but I have to forgive myself now, and I haven't. It's hard to do that when you make such a stupid, a stupid mistake like that.